On my 17th birthday, Lou prayed for me and spoke the Esther calling over my life. And it was from that point that the phrase, if I perish, I perish, really was instilled in my heart for my people, for the Native Americans. And I knew that the Lord was calling me in these next few years to step into that Esther calling. I did the back to life walk and ended up at the Esther call in Dallas, Texas, where I met Chastity and we opened up the call together as Native people. This is Alicia, Alicia from Alaska, what tribe are They're going to invoke the presence of the Lord. Would you allow the host peoples of the nation? God, we just welcome you here, God. When I returned from my DTS, the Lord spoke to me about turning the hearts of the fathers to the children and the hearts of the children to the fathers. And I ended up at the Call Berkeley where that was their main focus, was praying for the generations to come together. My first trip with Anna was to Round Valley where when I saw the Feather Dancers opening up our event, the Lord began to speak to me how he longed to hear the native people's song and their dance and how he missed it. And it was from that point that I knew the Lord was calling me to come alongside Chastity to serve her in the vision that he had given her for the next few years. Two years since I've been with All Nations North America and traveling from nation to nation and tribe to tribe all over North America, it was during this time that the Lord gave me a dream of the desert. In my dream, there was every generation represented, the ancient ones, the elders, my parents' generation, my own generation, and even the one after mine. And Lou Engle was leading my generation, the one after mine. And when all the generations came together and reconciled and were in unity, there was something that was released in the spirit realm. This happened right before our Anna pre-call rally, Awakened Giant, where we were really believing for Billy Graham's word to come forth that had been 40 years. And we were believing that we would take on the double portion mantle of our elders that had passed on and that we would be the Joshua and Caleb generation to walk out of the desert and to into all that God had for us. It was also right during this time that I found out that my great-grandfather was a circuit rider in Monument Valley. To confirm that dream, I had another dream not too long ago where we were looking to get the majority of the votes and we needed the elders on our side voting with us in order to have the majority. And again, that just confirmed the importance of the generations coming together. I had a dream of the night before the Anna call and Chastity and I were sitting in the car just going over the journey that the Lord's brought us on these past couple years and where we've been and we were asking the Lord, have we done enough? Did we do enough? Is anybody even going to show up tomorrow? And this song by the circuit riders came on every nation and we were just recalling the Lord's faithfulness and knowing that our obedience was better than anything else that we could have done differently. We knew that the Lord's faithfulness was what we were to rely on.